Hi everyone! Today we are going to be creating snowman tea light ornaments. So some of you may have already put up your Christmas trees, some of you maybe not quite yet, but when you get to decorating your tree you can add this ornament to the rest of the, your ornaments. So let's go through what we have in our bags and then we'll start assembling together. So in your bag you have your directions and um, I put step-by-step -step pictures. It makes it just a little bit easier um, to sort of follow along with me. You have your tea light, which may or may not have this little tab here. If it does, go ahead and pull out the tab. And then if you want to, you can flip it on and it puts off pretty good light. I'm gonna turn it off for now though. Um, you have a piece of ribbon, a small pipe cleaner, two puff balls, some glue dots, a piece of black string, and then you also have a black sharpie. Now an optional uh, thing that you can do is if you do have an orange sharpie, there's one last step at the end that um, I'm going to do with an orange sharpie. So if you have one, you can get that out and do that last step with me. So we're going to start by drawing a face on our snowman. So we're going to do some eyes. I'm going to draw two pretty big eyes on my snowman. Try to get them about the same size. <laughs> Those are kind of funny looking. I like them though. And then you can do like dots for coal, for a coal mouth. You can do one line to make a smile. If you want to do some other emotion like sad or angry, it's your snowman, it's totally up to you. I'm going to do a coal mouth, so I'm going to do a series of dots for the mouth. Because that's a traditional kind of snowman mouth. So there is my snowman face. And I might try to round out my eyes a little bit. He looks kind of scary. <laughs> that's a little better. There. Okay. So we have the face on our snowman. You can sort of blow on the Sharpie to get it to dry. But the first thing that we're gonna do is take our glue dots, and you'll notice these are a little bit difficult to work with because they are so sticky. So if you do have a pair of scissors, you might go ahead and cut your glue dots apart so that you can work with them one at a time. So I've cut a few apart there. Actually, I'm going to need four to start with, so... Ah, see how, what I mean? It was sticking to my finger! Okay. So the first thing that you're going to do is... <laughs> ah, take one glue dot, and you're going to kind of find the side of your snowman's head, and you're going to stick your glue dot right there, maybe where his ear would be. If you stick it on and peel the paper away, the glue dot sticks. So do that on the other side as well, kind of where the ear would be. And peel the paper off. So now you have two glue dots on either side, or one glue dot on either side. So now you're going to take your pipe cleaner, and mine's already kind of bent in a curve because I was measuring how big I needed it to be. Curve your pipe cleaner over the top of the head and kind of center it. These are going to be earmuffs for your snowman and stick them to your glue dots. Okay, so if you feel like you have enough glue dot showing, you don't have to do this next step, but if you want to, stick another glue dot on top of the ends of each side of your pipe cleaner because we're going to stick our puff balls on. So I'm going to go ahead and use another glue dot because I really want my puff balls to stick. So just like we did before, press down and peel the paper off and then I can stick my puff ball on. And look, there's one side of his earmuff. How cute is that? I can stick the other glue dot on. So if it's not sticking, go ahead and press pretty hard on it and then peel the paper off. There we go. And I can stick my other puff ball on. So now, he's got earmuffs, how sweet! Okay, our next step is to make a scarf. 
So we're going to need our ribbon for that. And this is a little bit tricky, so you're going to want to fold the ribbon across itself and until you get kind of a shape that looks like a little scarf. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a glue dot kind of right in the middle there so that the ribbon sticks to itself. So I'm going to cut another glue dot off my strip here and get it ready to stick on my ribbon. Okay, so I've got it kind of centered there, maybe. There we go. Stick my glue dot on and peel it off. Let's see if it sticks to this. Yes, there we go. Okay, so I've got my glue dot on there. Fold it over just like that. So now I've got a sticky or a scarf stuck together like that. Okay, the next step is kind of tough. We are going to take another glue dot and we're actually going to cut it in half because you only need just a little piece. And if you look at your direction sheet, you'll see this is um, step six. It says, glue it to the back of the tea light like in this picture. So you're gonna put your glue dot inside on the back of the scarf. So kind of slide it in there. Press down so that the glue dot sticks. There we go. Okay, and then you're going to do your best to stick it to the back of your tea light. Like so. So your snowman has a little scarf. Okay, now our next step is to create a hanger for our ornament. So that's where your black string comes into play. So what you're gonna do is you're going to feed your black string underneath the pipe cleaner like so. And, okay, see how I did that? You're gonna tie it at the top in a nice tight knot. Like that. So then you can put a hook on it and hang it on your tree or you can just hang it over the bow of your tree or a bow of your tree, just like that. Okay, and if you have any extra string at the top there, you can always trim it. Now I know I didn't provide you with scissors, but if you have some at home. Okay, there. So there is my tea light ornament. The last step, like I said, with your if you do have an orange Sharpie, um, it works best with a Sharpie because it's permanent. If you use a washable orange marker, it'll rub rub off eventually from the nose. So you can color the flame part of your tea light orange so that it looks more like a carrot. Now this step, like I said, is totally optional, but it, it adds a little something. Okay, so now go ahead and flip your tea light on maybe and voila you are done very cute you can hang it from your tree keep it year after year write the the year on the back with your sharpie if you want so that you remember when you made it it makes it that much more special so it is 2020 i wrote it right there on the back I hope you enjoyed and I can't wait to see pictures. So remember, take pictures, send them to me. I would love to see what you guys create. 
all of your reusable materials. So Sharpie markers this week, and I think that's the only reusable material I sent with you. Please bring them back to the library so that we can use them again. Um, hope you had fun, and I'll see you next time.